guys, this is Nicole. So today I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, I'm going to be actually telling you guys if um, slime is liquid or solid. So here I have my science journal. So I wrote down everything. So this is gas. We're not going to focus on gas today. We're just going to focus on solid and liquid. So first of all, we'll just have to check on solid. Solid has a definite shape has a definite volume, has definite mass, and cannot be compressed. And liquid does not have a definite volume, has a definite volume, wait, it does not have a definite shape, has a definite volume, has definite mass, and cannot be compressed. So, on the next page, we're going to write here things about slime A and slime B. Slime A is this slime, which is kind of solidish, more solidish than this slime. So slime B is more liquidish and takes the shape of whatever container it's in. Ugh. Come on out, slime B. Slime B. We'll see which one has more properties. Okay, just put that back in. Okay, first we're going to be testing slime A. So first, so we're going to flip to the page. Okay, so we're first we're going to be looking at, def at definite shape. So here we have to take a pen, okay? So does this have a definite shape? Okay, let's find out if slime A has definite shape. So if I put it in my hand, it does not take the shape of my hand. If I put it in this container, it just stays there. It does not take the shape of the container. That proves that A is does not have a definite shape. So slime A does not have a definite shape. Wait, slime A has a definite shape. And does not have and it's so it has a definite shape, it does not have not definite shape. So now we have to see if it has a definite volume. Of course it has a definite volume. Anyway, both slime, both liquid and solid, has definite volume. So, we're just going to put A for both. Has definite mass. Well, anyway, the mass will remain the same, so... And can it be compressed? Let's find out. No, this slime cannot be compressed. Uh oh. I think it's stuck. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this slime cannot be compressed. Okay, time to look at slime B. I'm just gonna put this back. Okay. So, we're going to just look at slime B now. Okay, get slime B out. G. Okay. Just going to... Okay, hello slime B. Okay, so we got slime B out. So, does slime B have a definite shape? Well, no, because when I put it in this container, it took the shape of this container. And that's why I couldn't get slime B out as easily as I got this one out. So, B does not have a definite shape. Can, well, the next thing. Does it have a definite volume? Yes, it does have a definite volume. So, we'll put B for both. Does it have a definite mass? Well, it's always the same, so it does have a definite mass. Okay, now, let's see if this can be compressed. But anyway, liquid and solid cannot be compressed. So, we have come to a conclusion. Well, actually, these are kind of, the, kind of similar. Just that, well, slime B has, does not have a definite shape, but slime A has a definite shape. Okay. So let's check it out. Slime A does not have a definite shape, and slime B has a definite shape. 
So that's the only difference that they have. So, is slime solid or liquid? Well, different types of slimes, well, actually, different types of slimes have different kinds of things. For example, well, slime A, which is the one that's a solid, is a solid, and slime B is a liquid. But, it does have a few properties that liquid does not. Well, liquid, it takes the shape of the container very easily, but as for this, it doesn't. It doesn't. It takes a longer time. So, in conclusion, slime is a semi-solid, which is a solid, but some slimes have some properties of a liquid. So, a slime is a semi-solid. So now I've come to the end of this video. And I hope you guys like this video, and I hope that you've learned something today. So that's it for now. See you guys next time. Bye!